welcome to uh, the congregation of the Queen of the Apostles in Riverton. Um, I've been asked to give you a thorough run through of uh, the exciting stained glass project that we have been undertaking for some months. Um, and once we've cut out all the pieces, we then go to the next stage, which is then to hand paint them and then fire them in the big kiln that we have behind us. So we'll go to that stage next. This is the uh, third stage, basically. So we've gone from the design to the cutting of the glass. Now we have to paint it to create the uh, impregnated effects into the glass, if you like. So this traditional technique has been done for thousands of years. And palette, and then we add water and gum arabic, and we make it into a slurry. So it's almost at the consistency of honey. And we mix this until we get it exactly how we want. And we use gum arabic, which actually acts as a binder to the glass, and it stiffens it on the glass so it doesn't just wisp away when we start wanting to take it off to bring the light through. And so the spray of the light going through the glass. So we do that technique. You can imagine the hours involved to do every single piece. So taking it from a board, putting it on here, painting it, letting it dry, laying it all out accurately on the design, and then wisping away the paint so that you get the spread even. And that has to be done piece by piece. Then, once we've got that all taken off, the glass world, it's using these exact same age-old pigments, same techniques. The only difference today is the kilns, as I mentioned. And when you think about the amount of pieces in this window and how we've had to hand paint every one, you appreciate the level of workmanship that goes into creating a window of this complexity. I think last count was around 110, so we, uh, we feel that that's a pretty good um, benchmark to keep it going, and uh, it's proven itself. And that's basically uh, the technique of um, manufacturing the window and building it up with the lead cam and soldering.